All right, y'all. This is my, uh, I guess, my post-surgery uh, video. Uh, I didn't get to long story short. I had my surgery yesterday morning, Friday morning at uh, about 6:30. Uh, needless to say, I got out of the surgery. I was tired. Uh, came home, popped a pain pill. I pretty much slept most of the day. Uh, probably caught about four, five naps. Probably about two hours of pop. You know, up, down, up, down. Even when I was awake, I, I wasn't with it. Um, I did uh, briefly get a little sick to my stomach. I don't know if it was the Oxycontin or the uh, or the uh, antibiotic they gave me, but uh, I got sick a little bit. Nothing came up, but I was very close. Um, pain level. I guess let me go with this with the Oxycontin. I'm supposed to take it every four hours, uh, one or two pills as necessary. Um, my first dose, I took two. Um, it was after that, maybe about two hours after that, I started getting sick to my stomach. So from then on, I've been doing one pill every four hours. Uh, last night, I kind of got that little bravery in me, and I said, hey, I'm not going to take it at four hours. I'm going to wait and see how bad the pain gets. Um, even without the Oxycontin, I'll say the pain got up to maybe a seven on a one to ten scale. Uh, since then, I've been taking it again, uh, and I haven't really had any issues. Sometimes towards the tail end, pain levels increase a little bit, but for the most part, as long as I have my legs elevated, as you see, I've got pillows and blankets and everything else over here. Uh, as long as I keep my leg elevated on those, generally I don't feel any pain. Uh, as you can see, I actually have my leg down now, but it's not hurting. You know, I'm probably finish this video and go ahead and bring it right back up. But um, right now, it's kind of get that antsy feeling. I've uh, been on my on my back for a day and a half now, and it's starting to get. I'm getting that antsy feeling, like I'm getting up on my crutches, just trying to walk to the door or whatever, just to move. Um, all in all, though, I feel pretty good. Uh, still trying to keep my mind set that when this therapy hits. You know, it's going to be a while before I can walk again, but uh, right now I'm feeling like I can do it. Um, I wish I could link to this guy's video, but uh, there was another guy who suffered from this injury. I was looking at his YouTube video, and he said something that stuck with me. And uh, it said, tough times don't last, tough people do. And that right there is something. That's the mentality I'm going to have to carry with me for the next six months. That and any comments you guys leave me on YouTube, trust me, it's going to help. Because, um, again, I'm not used to sitting around. You know, I'm, if I'm not playing sports, I feel like I'm slacking. Um... So I'm going to need everybody's help to keep me motivated. But, uh, yeah, so at any rate, uh, here it is. It's Saturday now. I've been staying with my mom all this time. You know, I had family helping me out. Uh, as you see, I got bottled water everywhere. You know, everybody's going to take care of me very well. Um, but Monday, I am going to go back to work. Uh, as of now, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a friend to take me or if I'm going to take a cab. Because, uh, again, it's my right foot, so I can't drive. Um, but, uh you know, I'm on the road to recovery. I'm ready to do it. Let's go. Alright, that's it.